Welcome to another video on, um, on disease conditions that we treat with uh, VOM technology and laser therapy. This is on equine splints, splints disease. Splints are actually referring to the splint bones, which actually are the second and fifth, I'm sorry, the second and fourth metacarpal and metatarsal bones that are seen in the, in the, in the equine. Um, the animals walk on their third digit, this digit essentially, and the fourth and the second actual metacarpal bones and metatarsal bones are actually small spindly taped bones that are, have uh, atrophied over thousands or millions of years of um, actual um, uh, development where these animals just walk on one digit. They exist in behind the cannon bone at this particular level in the back and they can be painful very much like shin splints are in the human being. Shin splints in the human are caused by continually collapse or uh, compressing the, uh, the body and running on hard surfaces like track stars would essentially and also people that spend a lot of time hammering their feet down onto hard surfaces and they can be re relatively easily um, uh, taken care of with anti-inflammatories like aspirin. However, that doesn't solve the problem essentially. What happens is we end up with actual tissues breaking down in that area where the actual muscles are partially torn away from those bones producing that as an area of pain. When we palpate these areas here in the animal, the animal will be painful. Sometimes they're asymptomatic. They just show lameness essentially that responds to anti-inflammatories. Again, the anti-inflammatories that we will give them such as butazolid and maybe one to two grams a day uh, for a period of 10 to 15 days will make the animal better. But as soon as we stop the medication, it goes away. What we do with the laser actually is we go ahead and we induce those plant, those tissues to actually rehabilitate themselves. And so very commonly, we'll very commonly put the preset head up at the pole and then what we'll do is we'll laser either horizontally or vertically we'll laser the tissues of the splint bones and inducing those areas to actually heal remember when there's pain in the distal uh, uh, extremity of the equine the pain causes vasoconstriction and it makes it very difficult for the animal to heal okay so this becomes an area that the body tries to avoid and so a it produces lots of chronic conditions if we can ameliorate the pain actually and induce the healing to occur at the connective tissue the bone level then we can get a solution for the problem this is not to be confused with the fractured splint bone those bones can actually be fractured by the cannon bone coming down on something hard like a gate or something like that but the point is this condition will produce a number of different types of problems associated with gating and can be hard somewhat to diagnose we can go ahead then and laser this animal for frequencies for bone 45 connective tissue 20.5 for joint 153 cartilage 454 180 seconds probably twice a day for three days once a day for three days and twice a week for two weeks and that will probably solve almost all of these problems and the animal will rarely reoccur so chronic chronic or reoccurring splints treated by medication is um, something that we see all the time out there but when we have a problem that really compromises an animal's ability to function and also to perform then what we do is we fix them we fix them with this uh, uh, technique it's actually very easy to do with a frequency specific laser therapy. Some class 4 lasers can actually be used to help this area too. However, we always use a frequency specific laser because it takes less time and it won't cause any injury to the actual tissue or burn the animal. This, is, you know, this information can be seen a lot more effectively on the website. Again, vomtech.com. I'd have to go to that site and you can look at a number of these disease conditions. We'll also show you how to use these methodologies for free, if you will. Thank you very much and have a great day.